Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Well, it would seem that the Australian dollar on Friday finally broke out of its seven-week bullish streak after prices broke beneath the key level of 79.90. Now, from that break, the market plummeted from a range of 80.43 to 79.17, and clearly taking on the challenge of uh, 17.35, now time to reassess, purely for the fact is that we are oversold, and last time we were down there, you can see the market back in December did respond quite bullishness. Let's therefore, just take a little bit of caution towards this downside, and don't get caught short at the bottom of the range. This week, it is time to turn to the RBA for its first interest rate decision for 2018. With many participants eagerly awaiting the release of the statement, which may give us further clues to what the central bank is thinking, and more to the fact what Governor Phil Lowy did note last year that uh, the next moving interest rates will be up rather than down. So if we do start getting a bit of a hawkish sentiment statement, then we could see uh, a little bit of recovery towards 79.55. Well, the euro took a plunge to the downside as the US dollar slightly gathered momentum after the release of the non-farm payroll. With a solid employment data release, 200,000 jobs were created in January, above expectations of 181,000. The unemployment rate was unchanged at 4.1%, and the average hourly earnings grew by 0.3% month on month. It is with this fact that the dollar index could regain further. Therefore, we could see a move towards the immediate target of 123.50.65. If so, a break beneath there would confirm the shooting star that we got a few days ago. And from that, could see a further decline towards 122.65.75 with resistance now at 124.70. Keeping in the down shadow for dollar yen, the market is now pushing up towards 110.8085 as a potential target to the start of this week, with the support now seen at 109.85. Overall, from the break of uh, the recent resistance of 109.8085, I do expect to see further momentum gaining and look for the rally on towards, as I say, towards 110.8085. Well, the pound is slowly slipping from the 143 handle and now looks towards the downside. This week, there are two major events. Firstly, with a PMI result on Monday. And then we have on Thursday, the Bank of England's interest rate decision. Although policymakers are not likely to make any changes to the rates, but the influence of the statement may see certainly some movement in the pound. Overall, from a technical point, the market is breaking down. As you can see from the MACD, looks towards this. Um, zero access now break beneath there would give further emphasis I believe the target for this week is at 139.90 with the resistance coming in now at 141.55 gold took a whopping fall on Friday and it was $22 before it found a base around the uh, 128 region now at the moment I do expect to see further weakness to the start of this week and we could see towards 28 to 24 with a base at 1,320 now. With the indicators all still in play, I expect to see upside to be limited with 36 holding on the day. And to wrap up with oil, well, the market slipped away from that $66 bear handle. Now looking for a target of 63 and a half, could see further weakness down towards 62, 60, 65. Any advances on the day should find resistance around 65, 65, 85. So that wraps up for today. Thank you very much for joining me and I hope you enjoyed the start to the new week.